To multiply and divide rational expressions, we want to first factor, we want to state restrictions, and then we want to cancel common factors. So I'm going to factor this first. So I'm going to first of all factor out the common here. I've got an x cubed, x squared, minus 6x. So I factor out the common x first. And then I'm going to factor the quadratic that's left over. So I have two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to positive 1 are going to be plus 3 minus 2. This is all time. So I'm going to write this all in one big fraction. So this is all just going to be in the numerator. I notice I have a 7 in the denominator, so I'm going to factor 28 into 7 times 4. And I have x times y. And in the brackets here, 3x plus 6, I've got a common factor of 3, so I'm going to take that out. And I'm left with x plus 2 in the numerator. In the denominator, I've got a common 7. And I've got a common y, which I'm going to factor out. When I factor that out, I'm left with just 1x plus 2. And again, this is since this is all connected by multiplication, I can cancel those common x plus 2 factors. So these ones here are common, which I'll eventually cancel out. Okay, I'm going to complete my factoring first. So in the, for the second part of that fraction, I've got a common factor of 4. And I've got a common factor of x, so I'm going to factor that out. And then what's left behind is just going to be 1x plus 12x divided by 4x is going to give me 3. So again, I've got some common factors in there. So before I start cancelling, I'm going to state my restrictions. x is not equal to uh, 0, negative 2, and negative 3. Okay, that comes from here, here, and here. And then I'm going to have y is not equal to 0 from this restriction here. Okay, so I've taken care of all the divide factors and stated restrictions for those. Now I can start cancelling. Okay, I'm going to start with my x plus 3. So i got x plus 3, x plus 3, x plus 2, x plus 2. Okay, so those are all my binomial factors. I had the 7 and 7, which I was keeping track of. I can see a 4 and a 4. Now, at this point, I may want to start kind of doing an extra couple steps. I can see I've got some common y still. i got some common x's. Okay, so I'm just going to do, just compile this into another step. So x, x minus 2. Then I have an x, another x, another y. I've got a 3 okay, times 3, and that's it in the numerator. In the denominator, I'm still left with that one y. I've still got another x, and I think that's all that's left in the denominator. Okay, so I can see that I can cancel out this xy with this xy, and it looks like that is what's left. So I'm going to end up with 3x, x minus 2. And I could write this all over 1, okay, but I don't really need that. So I'm just going to leave that as 3x times x minus 2 as my final answer.